solve the problem when we take our eyes off the problem and put our eyes upon the woman. Well, David says, God gives me my peace. David said, God gives me power. He gives me a good path to travel on. He gives me protection. He gives me provision. And Paul even talked about the provision. He said, my God shall supply all your needs. Oh. Is he true to his word this morning? Yes. Is he still true to his word, church? Yes, sir. Is he faithful to his word? Yes, sir. If he says it, he's going to do it. Amen? Yes, now, like I said last night, you can't just take the promise. you got to do something with it. I said last night, if you were here last night, if I give you a box with a hundred million naira in it, you're going to jump around, you're going to dance, you're going to sing, you might act like a crazy woman or a crazy man because you got a hundred million naira in the box. And all that's good. But if you never open the box and take it out, it ain't done you no good. Yeah. It just sets in the box. You not took it out and used it. It's good to claim the promise of God and get excited about the promise of God, but now you've got to put the promise to work. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen? It's not enough just to grab onto it. When you pray, you got to pray scripture. Lord, you see i got a need, and your word says that you would supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You said, Father, in your word, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, God, I know I'm praying faithful because you said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Not and it shall be open. But I know you're faithful to your word. Are you following me this morning? You've got to pray the promises if you want to use the promises. Amen? With the world. That I have accepted Christ and committed my life to Him. Oh, today we ask you, sir, why do you swear to me? Now do you want to be Jesus? And so when we are baptized, and this is a boy swear, we are dying to the old self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are we to be other than And we are rising anew in Christ. Now for your son of Christ, we must stand up for you. Amen. Amen. Just like Jesus was put in the tomb and he came out of the tomb. Senior, yeah, the Jesus said, "When you are saying you need to be." We are killing the old man and we arise to the new man. Amen. And so from this day, you walk with new power. Amen. Amen. And you walk with new commitment. Amen. There's no going back to the old life. Amen. It is a new life in Christ now. No, make sure there's nothing in your pockets. When we baptize you, Put your hand over your nose like this. So you see, that's what we did. And then what we will do? You say, you put your hand. We'll take, and then we'll say in obedience to the command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we baptize you, our brother or our sister, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And then we will take you, put you down in the water, and pull you up again. Okay? Very simple. So simple example, number one. Number two, <laughs> number three, <laughs> number four, <laughs> number five. Come on, say my issue. We will not keep you under the water. We will let you back up. We have our own What's that Unless it is Aaron, maybe we will hold him under longer. I don't know what you're doing. Amen. All right.
come desperate to be rescued. I come empty to be filled. I come guilty to be pardoned by the blood of Christ. Savior Jesus Christ, we baptize you, our brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Mm -hmm.